Hello, my name is Rachel White and I'm from California State University, East Bay, where I am working towards my bachelor's of science in chemistry. And thanks to the summer program, I was able to work with Dr. Martha Chacon on a project identifying PFAS in microplastics and food packaging using mass spectrometry. Many people nowadays are aware of plastics and environmental damage to the ocean's ecosystem. These plastics often break down the smaller and smaller pieces known as microplastics and can consume by the smallest of fishes all the way up to the biggest of mammals in the water such as whales, which can cause a variety of health issues for the animals that consume them. However, fewer people are aware of the microplastics and chemicals that they consume daily from food packaging. Plastics are primarily made of polymers, which are compounds composed of repeating units, and PFAS are a large category of chemicals that contain multiple fluorine atoms. People will end up consuming microplastics and PFAS due to them leaching and getting them absorbed into their food. Um, my project focuses on identifying the potential microplastics and PFAS chemicals that have been leached from common food packaging by analyzing the leachates with fluoroforal transform ion cyclotron resonance mass spectrometry coupled with electrospray ionization. We attempted to subject each food packaging material to similar conditions to how they would be used um, in everyday life. The plastic tea bags were boiled in hot water and the cook, cooking liner, these cooking bags and the uh, disposable coffee cups were had hot or boiling water poured inside. We could not um, properly stimulate the use of um, sandwich bags and um, popcorn bags, so we opted to do a socks extraction to extract any potential PFAS that could be in the samples. The water um, from the samples were then um, dried under nitrogen and then redissolved in methanol to be analyzed in the FT, um, the 21T FTICR. The thousand of peaks generated through this analysis um, then get assigned unique in order to see what type of stuff is in the samples. Here we can see a mass spectrum of the species leads from tea bags that were boiled in water. There are over 1,000 peaks, each representing a unique molecular formula. Each of these spectrums can be analyzed by looking for patterns such as consistent peak difference and using software to help determine the molecular formulas and visualize the relationship between the carbons and the double bond equivalents. Um, as you can see in the graph, um, there is an increase in DE of one and an increase of carbons, number of carbons of six for the slanted line. And you can see in the graph that um, there is a, a mass over charge difference of 113.084. Um, this correlates to the um, plastic nylon six. Um, because, and also, and that has basically the same um, molar mass uh, and DBE as the graph and difference in charge difference. We were also able to identify that the slow cooker lining contained fluorinated species suspected of being um, a type of PFAS, while the disposable coffee cups um, were also most likely lined with nylon six. Due to the limited time of the program, aspects of the project could not be finished such as not all the materials, were analyzed like the second pair of pop, um, sandwich bags and um, an experiment um, trying to simulate a popcorn bags in like a microwave environment was also um, not done. Um, I would like to thank um, Dr. Shikhan um, and Joseph Fry for helping me with my anal analyzing and teaching me all about um, Master of and I would also like to thank the REU program for giving me this opportunity. Thank you.